Hey there and welcome. We just separated our theme here before and uh, we made the footer and the header. So we have a bit more, uh, a better structure in our uh, theme right now. And I would like to talk a little bit about the header because usually we put in a title and then we input something like, could be WordPress 1 because as we can see here, it says WordPress 1 or VP1. So if we save this, and we update the theme, it's going to be work just fine. We have WP1 here. The problem with this or the issue is that this is not really dynamic. This is hard coded. So if the customer decides that oh, we want to update the site title, it's not going to reflect on the website because the developer hard coded the information. We don't like that. So how can we do that? How can we help the, the customer actually make the change? One way is that we need to basically connect the theme with the backend in WordPress. And we can do this with with another built-in function in PHP in WordPress that is called, uh, well, we used to do echo, but we can type blog info. And this method here is really handy because it contains a lot of different options and we need to do something. First, we need to use a little bit PHP, of course, otherwise our system is not gonna work pretty well there. <laughs> um, so we have blog info here and we can input uh, different options here. And one of them is the name. So the name of the website. And if we do that and save it and we head back, we can see nothing probably changes here because we have VP1 in here. But if we change the, the site title, the customer decides that they want to have a cool title. We save the change here and we update WordPress. It should reflect the change in a minute and we can see cool title. So now it is connected and this is really good because the customer can now change it on their own. Uh, so that is one part of it. Uh, another place where it is also good practice to do um, to do dynamic stuff is also the HTML language that will tell the browser what language this HTML file is created in if it is in Danish or English or German or whatever language. So you could and again we could type in PHP Enter language attributes. We don't need to provide any parameters for that function here. Another one is the is the meta char set. And usually this defaults to UTF eight, uh, Unicode eight, and oh that was not correct there. Uh, blog info. And we put in char set. So again, we're using the blog info function here uh, with another parameter. And we need to close our tag here. So how's that going to reflect our site? Yeah, we can see nothing happens. But if we inspect the website and we go to head, we can see we have meta char set, UTF-8. We have the HTML language, English. We have the title. And by the way, we could also, if we wanted to have the, if we wanted to access the tagline, we could easily get that by changing the, to the description, if we wanted to change around with that. So just another WordPress site reflects the tagline there. All right, so that was basically it about making our header a little bit dynamic and connected a bit to the WordPress backend. Thank you for watching. Have fun with this. Bye-bye.